Yee-ha! How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a, another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Boy, it is hot, hot, hot in the UK at the moment. And my hay fever is playing up massively. So on the last um, episode, we um, we did a quite a few things. I feel like we're getting through this game quite quick, but you guys have assured me that I've got a hell of a long way to go yet. Uh, so on the, on the last episode, we finally found the, the Serpent Snake Poisonous Trail map, uh, which led us to another map, which is like a waterfall. So I haven't had a look for that yet. So uh, we'll have to do that at some point. Um, we also ran into a triple act, which I thought was brilliant. A bird, bird run, bird run, bird ram or something. Birch ram, birch ram, <laughs> birch ram. Uh, Magnifico and Miss Marjorie. And uh, that was quite fun. We went, we went to see them in Saint, Saint Denis. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, that was quite that was quite a good little thing. And uh, we got a legendary boar. So about seven legendary animals now we've got. Uh, so out of 14. So we're halfway there, which is brilliant. And But we got all the fish to do yet as well. So I might do that off camera, like I said on a previous episode. It's not very interesting just watching me fish. Um, it's not very interesting for me fishing, to be honest, but it is what it is. Uh, we did a bit of fishing with Javier. Um, and uh, yeah, that was all right. Bit of a bit, you know, a bit different in a bit of fishing, and we went to retrieve some guns uh, for Lenny or with Lenny from the Lemoyne Raiders. Now we are here in Saint Denis, uh, so we thought we might as well just stay here and see what's about. Maybe do a stranger. I did see a stranger mission earlier, actually. Oh, here we go. Look, so we might as well do that. And we got a few more animals to get yet. So I've still got a cougar, I think a cougar and a uh, a prag? Is it called a prog horn? And a bison? I think they're in that black water which have been which has been reddened off. It's, it's, we can't go into that area yet. So I'm 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 well I'm assuming it'll open up at some point. So let's go and see this uh, stranger mission. Why are we running for? When we can get the horse. Bit of exercise for good old Arthur. Yeah, we do a stranger mission. We'll decide upon you know a legendary animal. At some point we're gonna finish all those. Because we've only got seven more to do. And after that... Ooh. And, uh, yeah, we do a few more strange missions. And after that, we'll... Excuse ooh, me, sir. Can we'll I do a main mission. for a minute of your time? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. Are you A shelter now? for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of twenty dollars would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars. Okay. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Okay. I could loot the loot box if I wanted to, but I won't do that. Not very nice. I don't know where that building was she was referring to, but we'll have to have a. I don't know where is that building. I don't know. We'll have to have a little. We'll have to have a little uh, room. A little explore around here. Right. So that was a quick stranger mission. That sort of doesn't count. But we should do another stranger mission. Really. Uh, let's have a look in the map. Right. I can't see any stranger yeah. missions around here. I might just have a little wander around Saint Dani. And uh, just see if anything comes to light, comes to fruition. Um, otherwise, we'll go further afield. Right, I'll tell you what, guys. I am going to, um, I'm just going to head towards roads. I'm going to, I'm going to ride there rather than catch a train or anything because, um, you know, miss it, like seeing those strange, those encounters on the way, it's always fun. And we might see a stranger mission as well. So, yes, uh, I might see you in, in roads. Oh, hello. Me. Oh. Hey, you. Hey. Gotta help me. Oh, he's got a snake bite? I'm going to place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta okay. do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh. Uh, I go about finding more help. 
Come on now, boy. Help! Somebody help! Yeah, all right, I've got it. <laughs> He's gonna ask everyone for help now. So they're shot by the river. Is this it here? Some what, what is white? Yeah, it looks like it's here, isn't it? Where are we? Oh. Let's have a look on the map a second. So we are here. We're on our way to Rhodes. Right, okay. I haven't been down these parts. Oh, we went to Shady Bar. Oh, there might be Lemoyne Raiders. Because hey the Shady Bar is where we went on the last episode. Oh. Let me just make sure I got my uh, guns equipped. And the repeater probably do, to be fair. That's um, a very good weapon. Oh, another thing as well. We got a, we got a rifle, didn't we, on the last episode? So we kind of need to get that um, scoped out. All blinged up, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can hear a scream in there. And it wasn't a seagull I heard. I heard an actual woman's, a female voice. Oh, it's crocodile. Crocodile country around here. Well, we might have to go in with guns blazing. Mm. Yeah. Okay, horse. Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. I've oh, got two people in there. No! Someone help me! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Did I kill them both? Yeah, I killed them both. Okay. Let's cut free. Sorry, I weren't here sooner. Oh, oh, Stay oh, out of bed. Oh, oh, like, it's like it's got crap on it. You saved my honor. Christ, what a mess! So I thought, look at that that bed. Would you please get them out of here? Is it your house? Is it? Touch them, and I don't want them rotting indoors. Yeah, sure. Let's move it. You need to clean your house up, love. Especially those bed sheets. You need to change those bed sheets. <laughs> well, we pick them up. We get them outside. Um, she's not very happy. By the way, your your husband's going off getting help. More help. Do, do you mind, please? Yeah. I can't I'm... Rest if I'm looking at him. Right, let's get him, mate. Give them to the crocodile. Oh, give them to the crocodiles. Is there a crocodile around here? Oh, there's loads in there up there. Okay, I might see if I can give this, this to the crocodiles. Is that a croc? Oh, it's a little baby croc. Oh! There you go, eat that. Oh. All right, let's go get the other body out. I'm not sure if the crocodile's interested. Oh, they might have already eaten. Right, let's just try giving this to this crocodile. Eat it. Not me. I don't think that crocodile is interested. Okay, let's go ask the woman then, see if she's going to give us some stuff. We're saving her ass. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Okay, thank you. Are we in the sack here? Can I just take anything else out of your house? Oh, thank you again. You my garden angel. Fifty well, that's alright. That's a good little bit of money there. Um, I don't know if I should take anything else. She may not be happy. Well, she didn't say anything. Well, I'm going to clean her out of house and home and then continue on doing something else. You again for all your help. I think I need to be alone. Hey, now you quit that now, you hear? Okay, she's not happy. All right, she did see me stealing, but, um... Let's decide we want to do that then. So I, I think we should. Um, Boy. 
keep driving to roads just in case we bang into anyone else and uh, just take it from there really maybe maybe I'll do a story mission first Okay, I'm in roads now. I thought I'd have a little look around first. Now this is Sky here again. Now walk into battle. Achieve glory. Well, hell, this is my glory. Right, hello again. It's the third glory time, I think. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh... What you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, there's oh, really? a bunch of bounty hunters too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you don't seem too scared. Well. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> Okay, thanks for that. Right, I'm in roads. Um, so, I was going to see if I can find this church. Someone mentioned a, a couple of episodes ago about... Um, I can't remember what it's called. Some shower for crafting, which I needed. And it was said it was like an abandoned house, possibly, if I remember rightly, by the church. So, I'll just have a little scout around. This might be even here. Um, maybe. I don't know. I've never been in this house before. So, let's have a little wander around to see what we can find. Hey boy. Hello boy. Manji Blue Tick Coon Hound. Alright. The question is can we get into this house though? There's a door here, so we must be able to. Alright, well let's loot this place then and see what's around. Hopefully we'll find that summit shower wherever it is. This is it! The Abalone Shower Fragment! Oh my god! Well, that's good. I might quickly visit a fence then. And I can't remember what it was for. But we might as well while we're here just carry on looking. Oh, we can. We can't get into that building. Okay. That was it. That's all we can get into. Alright, well in that case then, I'm going to quickly pop to the fence. Uh, something around it. There's a fence around here somewhere. And um, I'm going to see if I can get whatever it was I couldn't get before. Which I've forgotten what it was. Okay, this is what I was after the shell for. It's the bison horn at talisman. Permanently increases, sorry, decreases the speed at which the stamina cord drains by 10%. Well, I have that, yeah, thank you very much. Beautiful, just a second. So we still need to get this gold earring um, for this trinket. In fact, we still need items for other trinkets as well, like this, silver chain bracelet and a quartz chunk. Okay, then guys, it looks like the only real mission here. I haven't found any other stranger missions. We might as well go and do um, Dutch's mission. He's the only one we got left to do, really. So let's go and see what old Dutch wants. Oh, we're in the sheriff, off, of course. I do like a bit of a banjo player. Okay, let's go see Dutch. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Uh, Just I'm business all right. you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Oh, he's pissed. Your All right, yeah. Losing like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. 
Well, he's gonna be no use as a sheriff, is he? If he's, if he's pissed up. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies, you have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Okay. Climb on up. Let's go. I need to give Arthur a clean, actually. You probably noticed already in a shave. His beard, his beard grows so quickly. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Why, thank Most you. Most towns just get bounty hunters to other do way, other road. work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. I didn't... Uh, do I need my guns? It's dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites? Yeah. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dollars. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it. Maybe we can bag one of them for themselves. Families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Okay. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. I am. Um, Whoa! I... Whoa! Tell you in a minute. Hold up. You see that wagon? Oh, oh there's two dead people here. Is my horse? Oh, my horse is here, so I could grab the guns out for him off him anyway. No, I can't. Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, they are open. There's two dead people here. I swear they got it in for me. You could try walking once in a while. No. This must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Okay. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. 
I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Okay. Okay, fair enough then. Let's keep going then. Oh. Dangerous business, the life of a law. Man, isn't it? Appears so. I'm just glad we got Archibald here to Would you mind the taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. They're all taking the piss on now. I'm glad we got Archibald here taking the reins. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my nope. experience. Oh, and Not I all. know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Go right at the crossroads. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Bear right again here. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. That was that uh, pleasant village I passed through a couple of episodes back or off camera and they all, be, they all died from the plague which I thought was quite interesting so I don't know where, where the, the plague's going to um, they talked about the plague before I've heard people talking about it on this game as in the characters okay no more dialogue I'm going to speed up oh here we are we're just, around, just here Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Can it's I get my gun out yet? Yeah, I can. So let's... Makes me... Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. So these guys are moonshine makers then, are they alcohol? Let's not let them get on with it. If they want to make some moonshine then I'll have a little party. See? See? What did I tell you boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin. And we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys okay, want Bill. right or left? Um, I don't know. Should we have, should we have left? Don't, that doesn't matter, left. does it? Let's stop these filthy Help Bill knock out the moonshiners without being spotted. Okay. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. Okay. Knock him out. Right, let's go get a guy over there first. I'm Someone usually crap at this. Over there. Christ almighty, I can see the guy quite close to looking. Yeah, I'm, I'm shit at the... Oh, he's right over there. Okay, should I take the lead? You wait here. I'll deal with him. Okay, make it quick. I'll nice. tie this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. 
What are you doing? I can't tie him up with you in the way. <laughs> oh my God's sake. One person at the steel. There's other two are there as well. Dutch. Dutch and um, Archibald. They could have done it. Yeah, maybe we're a bit slow. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get gold on this, am I? I don't really want to run, though. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, we got it. Oh, look at all their moonshine operations, look. Oh, God, right over the head. Oh, I love it. So that would actually kill. You see it in the movies, people smash people over there with a bottle. But I bet that would absolutely kill. Okay, carry the moonshiner to the wagon. Well, that was so far a simple mission. But, you know, like all missions in this game, it's got to end up ending in a shootout, surely. Add him to the pile, Arthur. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Oh, it's a Any shame. boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that it. That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah. This is a, this is a shame. Select dynamite. I don't think I've used dynamite, actually. Oh, here we go. I haven't used dynamite yet, I don't think. Plant it on the distillery. Oh, this is a shame. Okay, shall I ignite it now? Stand clear from the distillery and blow the dynamite. How do I blow it? Oh, okay. It's okay, we got trouble. I can see people. That belongs to the Lamorne Raiders, you sons of bitches. Shit! We are mail are here. That bastard. Fine, Bill. Where are they? There's more in the woods somewhere. Look out, we got more coming up. Is that it? Oh, it's, oh, it's quite a few more actually. Okay, one last guy over here. That makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Let's clear him out. Got you. Nice. Oh, he's not dead. He is now. Whoa. anymore do you no let's find dutch and get out of here fine by me okay i'm gonna loot everybody first <laughs> i can't walk away from all this stuff come on arthur i'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone all right 
I don't know how long we got or if there is a time limit, but I really didn't want to loot because I'm hoping to get certain um, crafting crafting things. All right, so that's them all uh, all looted, every single one of them, and I looked in the houses as well. It's worth looting them because I found things like the um, the silver pocket watch, and, and is that something that I think that's what Lenny needs, isn't it? Anyway, I am back, Bill Dutch. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But All right. I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Okay. Somewhere near camp yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why oh God, I not on this horse. Back? Really? Oh, I accept the race then. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Hang on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give my horse something to... I got something nice to make him run faster. Probably not. Set, go. Well, that's a bit, a bit naughty. You never were much of a rider. We'll yeah, but I got the wrong that. horse. Right, let's keep going then. War horse, which I still got to name him Winston after I asked you lot. Someone suggested Winston. Oh, well, we got him now. Oh, we should do this. Not bad. I also have changed my saddle. So it was a saddle. So it was a saddle I got from the trapper, actually. I think one was made with crocodile skin. I think it's a crocodile skin one, actually. Possibly. I don't know. Right, come on then, Dutch. you got to catch up with us, mate. This horse isn't doing too bad. Although I do need probably another... Uh, he probably just needs another injection. But how far have we got to go? Let's have a look at the map a second. Not too far now. Uh, yes, I can hold that lead because I'm going to give my horse another injection. Always relax, boy. No doubt. I'd say it was good. It's so good having a bag where I can have like loads of these. Um, what do you call them? Tonics and stuff. Yeah. Up to 99, I think, of each every every item. Oh, we missed the bloody... Oh, God's sake. Oh, 
Oh, we might be a bit close now. We completely missed the turn here. Yeah, we done it. That was easy peasy. Well done, Warhorse. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Okay. Oh, we got... Is that gold? Have we got a gold? Arthur, Dutch and Bill become temporarily deputised citizens of Scarlet Meadows County as they help... Uh, Deputy Archibald shut down a moonshine distillery and steal a wagon load of the Braithwaite's moonshine. Yeah, look at that. Win the race back to camp, complete the mission without taking any damage. Get 10 headshots, complete with at least 70% accuracy. Don't get gold very often. That was a good one. So I think we should go and um, kill, go and get a legendary animal next. Okay, so there is, there is one animal really close actually to the camp. Um, here it is. So we're just going to put a marker there. It's the fox. Let's go see the fox and, uh, well, take it down. Take it down and kill it and get whatever trinkets we can get from it. <gasps> What's happening? Let's show them how free men do some killing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. What the bloody hell? Well, okay. That wasn't very good. Who were they then? I didn't see who they were. Were they a Lemoyne Raider? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, there's Lemonade Raider. Okay, well, it's more loot for us. And uh, it's, it's just up the road for the for the fox, actually. Not far from the, not far from the fox. Uh, so yeah, we'll loot this and I'll uh, probably meet you with the fox. Oh, gold nugget in this horse. Nice. Okay, well, they're all looted. God, it's worth looting. It's worth taking the time to loot them. Come on, I'm not sure what gold nugget is worth, but it's worth quite a yeah. bit. So, oh, another thing as well, guys. When I was in, um, whoa, when I was in that port town of Van, what was it called? Van Horn Trading Post. I picked up um, a what I wanted, or a one, yeah, I wanted poster. It was this missing poster, missing uh, person's poster. Uh, this six-year-old girl. Um, so, missing persons post to reward. On the 15th of anniversary of the disappearance of Princess Isab Isabeau, Katharina Zinsmeister, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, is offering a reward of $100 for her safe return to the authorities. The princess disappeared at the age of five during a royal visit to the United States in June of 1984. So, I don't know if we actually find her. She's got blonde hair and birthmarks on her right hand and left cheek. But what's the date now? She'd be older now, wouldn't she? It's like 1890-something, isn't it? If found, please return her to the nearest sheriff's office immediately. Yeah, just look at my newspaper. It's 1899. So she'd be like 15-odd, wouldn't she, now? All right, let's keep going, then. Yep. Right, OK, we have right entered up. legendary animals. Oh, there's something right here. Let's make sure we've got some decent guns on us. Well, that was quick. We found this real quick. Okay, then. Got some ground to cover. Oh. These legendary animals have been quite uh, quite easy, to be fair, to to, uh, to get. What's the fox there? What's that? Broken sticks. 
Call a viola. Don't seem close. That's it there. Oh no, is that it? I know, maybe that wasn't it. <laughs> it's getting dark as well. Let's do this before nightfall. Oh, actually, I see something there for the for the trees. Oh no, it's just uh, no, this next clue. Oh, not rest. I didn't want to rest. No, no, no. Oh, inspect. Not far now. Well, let's get our gun out ready because, um, Oh, I might be it there. I might be. I might be it there. Let's study it first. Get a bit closer. Let's study it. Okay. Get. Okay. Make sure it's not away from the trees. Right. So let's go and kill it once. Oh, it's dead. But it's not dead. It's going to be dead now, surely. God, I took three shots. Three shots in the head. Okay, we'll, we'll get this. We'll skin this dude then, this fox. Go to the trapper. Go to the... um. Um, the fence and see what we can get if we can get anything at all hang on a bit outside the pub here the tavern It's only temporary. Good morning, sir. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. Hey, the whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm are losing they? business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. Okay. All right. Calm down. Let me yeah, see we're what I Rat can Terminator. Do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Located to kill the rats in the saloon. <laughs> oh, God. Let's get some uh, normal normal bullets for this. We just got going. Oh, anyway, it goes well. Any more? God, there's loads of them! <laughs> Prick up brown rat. Well, we could do, could we put it in our bag? Yum yum. But I don't think we need to study these guys as well. There's another one somewhere. I can't see where it is. I can't. I can't study them. I think if you study, if you look at the tracks, you can see where they are alive. So there's a track here. Oh, they've gone back in here. So. Is that it?
There's another one somewhere. Oh, there it is, look! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Nice. Was there anything in here I could take while I'm in here? Like downstairs. No. Okay, I thought there might be, um, might be like an opportunity here. No, I don't think there is. Okay, let's go, into, let's go speak to, um, bartender then. If I can get out of here. He might give us a free drink or something, or uh, something nice, I expect. Ooh. Thanks, mister. Take this. Who earned every cent. I killed worse. That's not bad. $12.56. All right. So let's go to the fence then and the trapper. I was there, actually. Okay. I finally found it. It takes ages to find the uh, items in this uh, menu system, but legendary bucking fox range gloves. So I've got that. Good choice. And... I can't yet get this legendary fox moccasins until I get the perfect elk pelt. Uh, so let's go to the trapper and see what if we can get any trinkets from him. Okay, we can get the fox claw trinket. Uh, permanently increases the time that eagle eye can stay active for, by five seconds. I think that's really good, actually. Um, so we'll, we'll craft that. All right, so I was, um, I was just scanning around um, and I can't see any like stranger missions. So I think we might as well, this could be a short one otherwise, we might as well go back to our base camp and either speak to Abigail or Bill and uh, do a second story mission. Yes, and then hopefully we might come across a stranger mission en route. Okay. God damn it, I'm taking you in. Well, I just, I don't know what happened. Don't know what you were so I was disturbing the peace. That's stupid. I didn't do anything. I was looking at the map and then suddenly I was disturbing the peace apparently and uh, then the cops were after me and I surrendered. This is the first time I've been in jail. And they took eight dollars off us. Um, what's happening here? I don't know. So I, that's the first time I've been thrown in jail. Okay, we'll attempt again to ride back to camp. Again, I'm going to ride back rather than take the uh, fast travel or anything. Oh God! They're all police. All right, let's do this then. Hopefully, I'll, I'll bang into somebody on on route. Otherwise, I'll meet you back at the camp. Yeah, someone needs help. Easy. You're okay. Main right there. Nice and easy. Oh, that's a. I've got to clean my weapon. It's saying. Okay, thank you. I've saved your ass. Oh, he killed a woman, though. Oh, no, it's a lemon wing raider. Sorry, I thought it was a woman. <laughs> All right, let's uh, we'll continue. This is why it's nice walk, um, not going fast travel. Christ almighty, look how dirty that is. <laughs> oh, God. Whoops. Maintain your weapons. Got that as zero condition to it. Bloody hell. That's embarrassing, that was. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? What? Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Gavin's friend? Morning, dear. Have you seen Gavin? No. You still haven't found him? No, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. Did we see him in St. Denise? Saint De I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. 
Oh, maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! I don't think he's right here. so worried. Gav! Gav! I wonder if he ever finds Gav. Gav! Where are you? He's not around here, is he? Where are you? Did we see him? I'm sure we saw him in Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Let's also great. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? I just heard a gunshot. So oh. up now. You again. You Hello. A lucky day last time. Wanna stack up? Woo. Got fresh rent. So we got our repeater, yeah. My sure. And strong coffee in my gut. What'd you say to another Oh yeah, hang on, I just gotta make sure I get some a uh what do you call it? Game. That's it. So, big shot? Won't say no, let's fire off a few. Happy days. Happy days. Just like last time, whoever shoots the most bottles wins. Okay. All right, stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay, go. The more. You ain't lost to losing, I take it. Yeah. <sighs> well, now I'm miserable. All right, let's raise the stakes. Twenty Go again, huh? Okay. Well, that's what I like to hear. Birds again? We'll do the birds again. <laughs> First to knock four out of heaven gets the win. Okay. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. I feel like I'm cheating really doing this. Was that it? <sighs> All right, Dan. I'll give you that one. Here you go. That's not bad. As we got promised. We just won twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Take money, thanks. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time, I may not hold back. Okay, excellent. Come on, pal. Let's continue on then, back to the camp. Yep. I think I fancy doing a bit of Abigail. We haven't done one for her for ages. Hello, hey, dear. Parker. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was oh. planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. So we have to go and see Hosea. Oh, he's in at the road. Okay, let's go and join him then. How are you, Miss Roberts? Mr. Morgan. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, uh, maybe one day you'll save Can mine. I? Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I thought we only saved him on the first time. We haven't saved him since then, have we? Okay, so he's just up from the camp, not far at all. Oh, there he is. So is this the moonshine? Is this the moonshine stuff we got then on the last mission? Come on. Okay, guys, 
What's up? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I assume that. Good luck. I assume that Dutch wanted it for himself we'll in the camp. Later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Um, have they got yeah, thoroughbreds there or there. something? So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Yeah, there's always got to be money in it somewhere. I bet these two Here lovers, Beau and whatever, they die in the end. Homestead, isn't it? Like Romeo and Juliet. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. Oh, he's on the trailer. Okay, let's get going we'll then. Be watching you. Yeah, okay. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Oh. So we're selling them their own moonshine. I hope they don't work that out. Then we're, we're, uh, we're going to go for another gunfight. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Oh, dear. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> Though it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders for... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. Okay. I can't. There's, there is going to be a big fight at the end or at some point with the Greys well, and the Braithwaite. Sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants okay. to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Oh. Yeah. 
That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. Yeah. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, What's he doing with the rats? Hat on? <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> oh, right. Broke poor mammy's heart. <laughs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Oh, see. oh God, excuse me. Sorry. I shouldn't be allowed to drive this stuff. It's not easy on keyboards. And mouse. I think this would be easier on controller doing this, but... Okay, here's the saloon. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> so they can't use their guns either in here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says, give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. God, go be on the go be on the bar into the saloon. Okay, boys. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one business. Gray's glass. Oh, I'm drinking as well. Bounty. It's a sin to huh? look at the gift horse. But I see a gift horse. The hell? Poor bottle. Huh? See that? Oh, Can't go. So Just keep them coming. coming. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. It's the land of opportunity. Now it's your opportunity to get hideous. Right, okay. <laughs> Raise glass We're and raise ball. Now, boys, let's go. Providence is shining on you. Serve a drink. You're fine. It's probably easier with a controller, man. actually. Don't listen to your brother. You need to over here, Finn. That's it over here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone is pissed. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? I know Fenton looks 
mad that he's enjoying every minute of this. I promise you. Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, who went out for milk? Get your free drinks from Finn at the bar. Well, that hit the spot. Keep them coming, Finn. Just keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink! Oh, dear. Uh, Lemoyne Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. What are they doing here? Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 shit. That's our booze, you damn Oh god, that was a bit of a close up detail. I'll, I'll get him in a minute. Good job, huh? Right, he's just gonna have some of this. Finally. Do something, Arthur. Follow us upstairs. Follow. Sorry, Jose upstairs. Get off me! What? Arthur, help! Think you can steal from us? Oh shit! Guys, see that guy there next to me? Hey, hey, this way. Where, where are they firing from? What the hell? I got a hit. That's our booze, you damn bastards. Let's <laughs> right, let's go have some more of this stuff because um, I'm, I'm going to have a half food. I'll tell you why. I'm probably not going to get gold because of it. But... <laughs> What? Come on, Franken! You're in that wagon! Okay, let's go. I'm getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! So he's driving. Got more coming after us. Well, shoot them then! Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm not doing a very good job here. I know. Hide this on there. Coming out of the alley. What? Shit, oh, Christ. Well, I'm going to have some more of this, actually. It's just get my thing after. up. Come on. My shot's not very good today. How many are there? They really aren't happy about this. I want both those sons of bitches! Thank God for Dead Eye. You're right! Yeah! He's down! You fools are playing the wrong game! Train. Oh, no, no, no! Made it! Damn it, there's... Oh shit, that was the wrong guy. I should have killed that one guy. Arthur, stick to the one shooting at us. Yeah, okay, sorry, whoever that was. How <laughs> right, much more bullets have I got left? Oh god, I'm more. God, we, get, we killed loads of them so far. You see any more of them? Don't well, that loot we're leaving so. behind. Yep. We done it? Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay, that's it, hopefully. That's a bit frantic. 
Another mission ending in a gunfight. Okay. Pull off the road here. Ha! All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now... Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace, yeah, a peace offering. offering. yes. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Oh, uh, Jose is all right. I, I really like Jose. He's growing so on me as well. what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what are you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. All right. I think this is uh, gonna get dangerous now with both of them after us. Right, uh, advertising the new American art. I guess that's bronze, isn't it? Uh, Catherine Braithwaite pays Hosea and Arthur to head into Rhodes and hand out the stolen moonshine for free at the local saloon. Yes, bronze. Headshot five Lemoyne Raiders, complete with at least 90% accuracy. And that's always a thing. Complete the mission without taking any half items. Oh. All right, well, I think I'm going to call that a day there, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you on the next episode. Until then, take care. Goodbye.